Hi everyone and welcome to this very special behind the scenes look at CK Productions. Today, I'll be doing an overview of how I did the effects for our latest video in the Breath of the Wild series. The one with all the guardians in it. If you haven't seen it yet, go and do it right now. Anyways, this video was especially fun and interesting to make because it included a lot of visual effects processes and concepts that were all kind of brought together in the end to make cohesive effects for each shot. Some of which were fairly new and challenging for me. The biggest challenge in the video may seem like the most obvious one. That was making the Guardians. While I do have a lot of VFX experience, 3D modeling is not one of my strongest areas. But luckily, I was able to find a way to build these Guardians by using pre-existing models. I ended up using Video Copilot's Motion Design 2 Model Pack to piece together designs for the turret and drone Guardians. And with some quick editing to the models and using some of the textures that came in the Pro Shaders Toolkit, I was able to craft together some cool looking results that looked similar to the Guardians of the game, but also had sort of a modern type feel to it. It was really nice being able to use all these pre-existing really high quality models. It looks a lot better than it would if I did it on my own. The next challenge came when animating these Guardians. Element 3D's tools are a bit limiting when it comes to animation, but luckily the newest version of Element 3D can handle sequences pre-animated in Cinema 4D. So the process became build the model in Element 3D, export that model as an OBJ file, animate that object file in Cinema 4D, and then import the Cinema 4D file back into Element 3D in After Effects. This was a surprisingly effective and smooth process, and it really helped me retain all those high quality texture layers that they have in Element 3D. So for the first time in a CK Productions video, each VFX shot in the video was a moving shot, which means every shot had to be 3D motion tracked. Using just the built-in software and After Effects, I was actually able to get some pretty accurate 3D motion tracks and find points of references to help place my effects in the right spot. I made sure to always have a lot of trees, branches, and other plant life in my shots in order to help the program track accurately. The 3D models of the Guardians then were placed in the scene and positioned based on those points of references that I found in the 3D motion track. From there, I was able to add a lot of other effects, such as the laser beams and the explosions. The laser beam was done using Trap Code Particular, another plugin for After Effects. With a certain combination of settings and some help from some presets, I was able to make a beam with a little bit of texture to it. However, the beam doesn't look quite realistic enough on its own. So in order to sell the effect, I had to add layers of additional particles, debris, glows, and more to really make a convincing impact when it struck the ground. The particles moving in 3D space really helped sell the realism. The explosions of the Guardians were two of the coolest effects I've ever done, and also some of the most complicated ones. In order to make the Guardians fall apart, I had to add simulation tags in Cinema 4D onto every single part of the model, and there's a lot of parts to these models. And I had to animate each tag to activate the moment they were impacted. It took some trial and error, but eventually I got two good looking shatter effects. And coupled with tons of particles, explosion elements, and debris, these effects turned out really nice. A project like this can seem really daunting, but if you really break it down like this, you'll see that it's just a few simple VFX concepts all put together into one project in the end. I know it's very difficult to comprehend all these processes in such a fast general video, so over in my second channel, Digital Film Dojo, I'm going to be going over these effects slowly in step-by-step -step tutorials. I'm going to really dive deep into each topic and provide you with some footage to follow along. You can check out the tutorial I did on 3D motion tracking right now, and you can catch more of these tutorials coming in the next few weeks. So be sure to subscribe to that channel so you can catch when those new videos are coming out. And take a look at some other filmmaking tips I've shared over the past few months. And look out for some more coming in the future. Next week on CK Productions, we'll be releasing the next episode of our Breath of the Wild series. It's gonna be another good one. I hope you all have a nice weekend, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye everyone.